Welcome one and all, I'm Decoy. And today, I'm going to bring you a collection of what could be some of the best locations for each resource type. So you can set up your camp and farm them with a resource extractor, much like you can at a workshop. Now, fair warning, a decent amount of these are going to be the same locations as some of the previous videos I've done. But there's also going to be some new locations mixed in as well. So, you get a little bit of old, a little bit of new. Now, a lot of this is going to be subject purely to opinion. And when I did this, I tried to pick different resource spots scattered around the map. So, starting off, we're starting with one I've already shown. But if you're going after acid, you're really going to be hard-pressed to find a better spot for acid than this. Because you set up your base here, you got acid. And then if you take a nearby workshop, yeah, I remembered what the word is today. How awesome is that? You take nearby workshop, you get a bunch more acid. You're going to end up with way more acid than you're going to need. Next up, again, we're at a previous one. Because you're going to be hard pressed to find a better aluminum spot. Because it's going to put you right behind the most sought after workshop in the game where you can basically get free ammo, have a vertibot, all that awesome stuff. Again, I know I've already shown it, but I can't beat that. I'm sorry. This, however, new location for Black Titanium. And this is a really solid location because it's going to put you within reach of three different workshops. That way, I mean, odds are you're bound to be able to take one of them. One of them's gonna have what you need. Or at least I hope. Next up, we're back to something I've already shown. But this is really close to the Black Titanium. These are actually the two closest locations I'm gonna show in the video. But, I mean... There's just so many workshops close by that if you're after coal, you you can go ahead, get your coal here, go take one of these other workshops. Now, part of my reasoning behind uh, trying to make sure everything's near a workshop and also trying to space them out somewhat is so that if you're playing in a group, you can kind of plan ahead. And strategize as to who's going to be farming what resources and you combine your resources as a group. Next up, this is going to be concrete. It's also going to be a good solid start location for someone because you're right near 76, right near a workshop. Now, the thing about this is, is I, I was just standing on this bus, but inside the bus, uh, there's a, like a chem container, a little food container, but do not step on those spikes. You will catch a disease. Like I did when I first went to record it and wasn't paying attention. On to another new location for you. This is going to be for copper. Now this is a decent spot, because it's got you somewhat centralized in the map. You're also close to a workshop but as an added bonus you're also close to white spring so you can hit up all the vendors and so anywhere on the map you're at you can easily fast travel to your camp and then fast travel to white spring super cheap now this location i know i've shown it before crystal as i said in my previous video it is a really rare thing to find in the world outside of workshops and I gotta say that location's pretty cool just for having this party table set up with a bunch of different stuff so if you want to have a party at your base this is the place to take now sadly when I recorded this I forgot to show the nearby workshop but if you have the game, you can easily just look over there and see what that is. Sorry about that. 
Now we're back to gold. And again, a location I've shown. But it is in such a good location that I, I can't top it. It's going to keep you close to the uh, munitions workshop. And also you're going to be right behind the red rocket. So close to two good, good workshops. All right, so now we've got do 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 iron, and it's a new location. Like I said, I got a decent mix between new and old for you. And it's kind of weird when I actually found this spot and went to it. There was another player that had built a base, but he built it just too far away to actually be able to farm the iron. I was like, clearly, this, he doesn't know what he's doing. Take the free resources when you can. But this will put you close to a workshop that I don't normally see too many people taking, so you shouldn't have to worry about thieves trying to take your stuff. Now I've got a new lead location for you. Now this location, it's going to be somewhat close to a workshop... But my main reasoning behind picking its location is because it's going to keep you closer towards the bottom right corner of the map. Just because I know that's where people like to nuke. So overall, it's a decent spot. If you don't like this one, my previous video has a completely different location for you. Closer to White Spring, if I remember right. Alright, now... I guess one other cool thing I should mention about this is there is this vertibot kind of like crashed in front of where your base might end up. Now there were some ghouls here, but I mean, hey, free vertibot, you never know what the heck you're going to get out of that. Moving on. Yeah, we're back here again. I know you're thinking, oh, my god, decoy, what are you thinking? There's a friggin' Scorch Beast up there. No one wants to get nuclear material near a Scorch Beast. Or do they? Honestly, it's just too cool. The Scorch Beast flying around. Y you know you want to be close to farming a Scorch Beast. And the Scorch Beast wants to be close to farming you. Now, there are other nuclear locations, but that just kind of puts you right in the center. Anyways, let's move on. It's been a long week for me. We're back in the mire again. I mean, someone out there wants to live in the mire, right? Get you some oil. You'll be right, right near a nuclear power plant. So you can get fusion cores for days. Yeah, it's solid. It's also the only thing, of, only thing I could think of in the mire that was worth... Being in the mire. Next up, we're back to phosphate. Also known as fertilizer. Which, sadly, I had to build my base here early in the game to figure out what the heck that actually was. Now, a bonus about this is if you're going for farming, you've got basically a tato farm right beside you. So you should be able to have... A sizable plantation if that's the route you want to take next up silver now this is another location that I've previously shown but aside from the silver there's a lot of uh, aluminum ore uh, veins nearby so you can kind of get a little bit of aluminum on the side but the key thing about this location is is it is close to White Spring. It's not close to any workshop that I know of. Yeah, free guitar. That's pretty cool, right? But now, the key thing about this was close to White Spring. Because a lot of people love to camp near White Spring. Just for selling stuff to vendors and farming. Because there's some good legendary farms down there. I'll tell you what's really nice is when someone nukes White Spring... Amazing. Best thing ever. Now. This should look somewhat familiar. Except now it's nighttime instead of daytime. 
Yes, I've I've returned to an old junk location. I mean, it's just an awesome spot. Because it's going to put you right near the workshop that creates packaged food. And it's the only workshop that does that. So it's extremely unique. However, if you don't like that junk location, they're all over the place. Follow the coast or along that river that I'm on and you'll find different locations. Now, let's kind of wrap this up. What I'm going to be working on next is I know there are some re resource locations where you can put your camp down and farm two resources at once. I've just recently moved my base to one. And a huge thanks to uh, one of the people that commented pointing that out. I'll definitely give a more thorough shout out to that person in that video. Now supposedly there's quite a few of those, so it's going to take me a little while to go around and get to them and figure out what's legit and what's not. But I will be hooking you up with that. The one I'm currently at gives junk and lead. Super cool. Now huge thanks to everybody that's been commenting on the previous videos pointing out locations. It's super cool. Now if you know of any double resource locations, please hop down in the comments and let me know what it is, where it's at, so I can try to get that into my next video. Additionally, down in the video description, I'll have a link to a map that someone on Reddit made of all the resource locations, in case you didn't like the ones in my video. Hopefully you've enjoyed this. Please remember to like, sub, and share. Later.